Ian is a former motocross rider who, after a near career-ending injury, has recently returned to racing on the tarmac. As well as racing, she's a motorsports TV host and presents a number of different shows. We join her as she spends the day racing with her family. I'm Sophie McGinn, I'm 26 years old. Um, I've been riding for a good 10, 12 years now. Um, thanks to my dad. My dad got me involved in, into motorbikes since I was a young, very young age. Um, and finally persuaded them to, to let me have a bike for, for Christmas and uh, started up motocross. Um, and then ended up having a pretty nasty accident um, in 2007 uh, and broke my back in four places. So that put me out for, for quite a long time. So I had to go through rehabilitation and, and physio and, and you know, getting myself back, to, uh, back up to speed with that. And since then, I've, I've been still involved with it. And my dad carried on racing for a few years and he stopped now and I've always, it's, with, with motorbikes and, and, and motocross, it's something I think once you've started, you'll never, you'll never stop. It's, it's a bug and it, once you've been bitten by it, that's, that's it for the rest of your life. I don't think you'll ever stop racing. So we're here doing a charity endurance race for Fight Like A Girl, as you can probably see. Um, there's me, my dad, Beth and Aidan out on a team. So at the moment, we've just had free practice and the guys are qualifying. He broke his leg pretty bad motocrossing and then he hasn't, he hasn't rode since, so I've managed to rope him into doing this today. It's taken me a while to sort of persuade my, uh, my parents to get back behind me racing and, and that sort of thing. So um, I started doing a bit of filming a couple of years ago, just randomly at the dirt bike show. Um, and it's, it's really taken off from there and I'm loving it and we're doing so much all over the country for the for the British mini bike champs and and that sort of thing and then I got offered the opportunity uh, at the start of this year to actually race the championship so going from a, a history of, of dirt racing pretty much my whole life I've I've gone back to um, tarmac so learning that for me was was a massive massive learning curve at the start of the year so I had my first race doing that uh, last September, I think, September, October time, and, and put it straight through a tyre wall in my first couple of laps. So that was hard to learn. Um, but no, yeah, we've, we've come a long way and we've got a good bike set up now and, and it's, it's really working out with training and pushing forward. We had a 10 minute practice session, which my dad went out and did because he's never been out on the bike before. Um, and we made a few changes before qualifying, went and did that for an hour. So me, Beth, Aiden, and my dad went and put a time in, but we're all on the same transponder. So we managed to get a 59.6, I think, which is a pretty decent time, but now the weather's started to change and the rain's coming down, but hopefully it'll, it'll dry back up for the race. Yeah, dad hasn't rode for about eight years. Um, did motocross for you since I can remember and broke his leg pretty bad doing that and then since from then, he's just been out for injury really, but since I've had one of these, I've been pestering him and trying to get him to come and do that. So he's like the annoying big brother that I never had. <laughs> he's not like my dad, he's like my best mate. So, which is good. He's been doing all right since he hasn't been on the bike before. When I, when I had my accident, um, the first thing I asked my mom and dad was, is my bike okay? <laughs> I think that's a pretty standard question that anybody that rides does ask. Um, so yeah, the first thing I said was my bike okay and, and can I ride again? And that was the thing. My parents were, were very obviously quite strict on it because it was a serious accident that I had. Um, and I was, I was in hospital for two weeks and I had to lie completely flat for those whole two weeks. I, I couldn't sit up to eat or to drink or anything. So. That for me was, was a real hard part, but 
I've never, I've never kind of looked at it as a negative. I think with things like that, you have to think positive and that's what pulled me through most of it because if I wasn't that positive about it, I think I'd either still be in a wheelchair now or I'd still, you know, I wouldn't be riding again. The last time I was on a bike was uh, September the 8th, 2009, <laughs> at 29 minutes past 10 in the morning. Not, That's not when I broke my leg to bits. <laughs> so I've never ridden the bikes. I've uh, had a lot of trouble with my leg and uh, pins in it and stuff, aren't you? Pins and everything. And uh, our sofa here decided it's about time I got on a bike again. And uh, she's been pestering me to ride this. <laughs> so we decided to come along today and do it. So so far it's been great fun. <laughs> and he's still pulling faster laps than me straight off. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you, should listen, you should listen to me. Um, yeah, if I tried to motocross again, I'd have to go and have another operation and have the pins taken out my leg. Um, I think I'd be in a wheelchair if I motocrossed again. Yeah, and I've got uh, six screws in my ankle and uh, I'd have to have all them taken out as well, so I'm just not doing it. So I can cope with this, it's good mm -hmm. for it does. It does pop up in the in the back of your mind when you, when you get up on a bike. It's... I think it does with anyone that's had a serious accident. So you just kind of have to think, well, I'm still here after that. So what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Are you in to buy food? Oh, my armpit doesn't smell yet. <laughs> uh, we qualified 20th. <clears throat> so our best lap was 59.4. So it's five seconds off the top guy. No, not too bad. With the, with the tarmac racing, uh, it's been a pretty steep learning curve for me because, like I say, it's always been in dirt racing for, for the past few years of my life. So going from the transition to, to tarmac, it's really hard. The, the riding style is totally different. So we're sort of used to pushing the bike away, whereas with this, it's hanging off the side and the bike setup is totally different. The shock size, everything. It's, even tyre pressures, you know, that's that's a massive serious part on it. And for me, it's been a massive learning curve. But my dad, if I didn't have it, him there and, and helping me along the way, then I think uh, I would have given up by now. <laughs> so when I see the start, pulled out on the side, and like, I'm having trouble starting the bike to start off with. I got half of that round and started bogging down and just completely cut out. We think the car sucked a load of the water in with the rain. So the lads are behind me just stripping it down and trying to get most of the water out of it. But Aidan had to jump on his bike and do the start. So he's out there now, best going in a minute. And then we're sitting in seventh at the moment. So um, I'd, love, I'd love to continue racing for as long as I can. You know, it's something that you love from the moment you start it until you finish. And it's something that I think, well, I'd like to do forever, but, you know, only time will tell. I'd love to sort of be more of an ambassador for girls racing because it's it's great to see more and more girls getting involved in the sport now i know when i first started there was me and another girl that i knew of that rode um and that was that and it was it's it's so great to see now there's some girls out there and they're really they're really getting fast and they're beating the boys so obviously the world mxgp with the women is really coming on strong now managed to sort the bike out finally he's been fixing that all afternoon but finally sun's out and he's managed to get out on track and he's fine he's loving it he's doing really well Woo! Oh. so we should we put there should be about 14 15 i think so it's pretty good Me, myself, I'd love to push on further with the road racing and hopefully getting a chance of winning the championship. Maybe, maybe not next year, but maybe the year after that. 